Welcome to Get Offset. My name is Emily, and I'm here with the RPS Bit Reactor Bit Crusher slash Down Sampler. If you've ever wanted your guitar to sound like a video game, boy howdy, have we got something for you today. This was sent to me in exchange for a demo. I'm playing it through my Fender Super Reverb from the Tone Master series and the Ernie Ball... The Joe P John Petrucci uh, Majesty, Music Man Majesty 7 is a 7 string. Uh, and yes, it sure, sure is, has 7 strings. The low string is a B, so it's basically a baritone and a, seven and a normal 6 string mashed into one. I'm just going to get a little bit of extra low end for ya because, oh, oh, I do love it so, so, so much. I'm going to send it back someday. I figure, why not have as much fun with it while I have it? But let's talk about the pedal. It is Bit Crusher. I'm sure you're a little bit familiar. It uh, <laughs> it's it's it turns your guitar into video game noises. Uh, old school ones, not the fancy dancy ones. Although I've been playing, they still make eight bit art video games and I'm excited about that. I've been playing one recently called Eastward You Don't Care. So let's talk about the controls. First off we have level. You will need to use that um, as some of the sounds are louder than other sounds so I'm glad they did include that. Crush, I'm in a band called Sunday Crush, um, it controls how many bits? How like I would almost think of this as like the fidelity almost all the way to the right this clockwise is eight bits so more subtle all the way to the left that's counterclockwise is one bit that's significantly less subtle i'm going to start it at eight bits more subtle uh sample similarly all the way to the right is less is more is more subtle uh that is um like it's the, the sample knob, let's just read it, controls the sampling frequency and determines the maximum frequency that can be accurately reproduced. I've been kind of loosely thinking of it as mix. That's not exactly what it is. We will hear it. As that knob is decreased, the higher frequencies present in the input, input can no longer be recreated. But rather, these frequencies are simply being discarded. They reappear in different in harmonic frequency, doing the phenomenon known as aliasing. As it is turned clockwise, the sampling frequency is increased. At fully counterclockwise, uh, sampling frequency will be so low that virtually no no will be unscathed. So uh, I'm going to turn it. You're going to hear some uh, to about mm, two o'clock, and that's kind of where I like it. But let's um. I just play it. Going up all the way. Thank you. 
sampling that low, you can actually barely tell what note it is. And when it's all the way up, you can hear some sort of undercurrents, but um, it mostly sound clean. That's kind of why I vaguely think of it as a mix, even though it's not exactly what it is. <laughs> just kind of fine. So that's the eight bits. Uh, let's turn the sample up and go to seven. And you can see the lights go away, which is pretty neat. to noon and compare it to the 8 bits. We're not hearing a huge difference yet, but if we compare 8 bits to clip it's getting a little more a uh, wild so let's do the six bit run through I actually think it sounds really neat Everybody just singing this guitar is wasted on me. Joke's on you, I have it anyway. Sample rate up. Thank you. 
Let go out, I can't tell. It's not even subtle when it's subtle anymore. Everything is more distorted now, which is really cool. This is where the volume comes in handy because it gets louder. It gets louder the fewer the fewer bits you get. when you think you know what you're gonna like about them when when they come in and then you end up liking something completely different like I thought I would like this on eight bits and would hate it on lower bits but I really think it's a super cool distortion pedal with fewer bits and a higher to medium sample rate so surprises That square wave is so funny. It's 
it's kind of you have to think about it when you have a seven string. You're like, I can't hit that bass string. my old friend into focus the old blood noise endeavors expression ramper and I am going to get the a and sample the expression controls the sample on this pedal so a I'm gonna have it about nine o'clock I'm gonna set B to all the way over there get over there and let's see what that sounds Madness. No, I like it. I like that a lot. Let's make it a little bit slower.
Well, that worked. Hey. <laughs> So that was just some fun with uh, the Bit Reactor by RPS. Check it out now in a smaller footprint. Uh, it used to have a, a bigger, a bigger enclosure. So now it's a lot more pedal board friendly. So bravo, RPS Effects. Um, that was fun. That was fun. I think my band is really, really gonna like it. We love video game themed things. I imagine pairing that with a fuzz would be just bananas. <laughs> uh, delays and things like that. Shoot, I might find even more fun ways to explore uh, the sonic potential of this really soon. You may look at things like this and be like, it makes video game sounds, like what can you possibly do with that? But the truth is, these kinds of things really are only limited by your own creativity, but I think this had some really cool drive sounds um, when you had fewer bits and um, turned the sample down even just a little bit. So that alone I felt was pretty cool and usable even when you weren't using it as like video game noises. <laughs> so yeah, that was really neat and creative and fun. So uh, really neat stuff. Uh, let me double check the price on this thing. It is currently available on the RPS website for $180. So Sorry about that. So um, check it out. Uh, please like, comment, subscribe. We have a Patreon at patreon.com slash get offset. If you're looking for anything else, uh, buy directly from small builders when you can, but if you're looking for anything else, please check out our affiliate links in the video description for Sweetwater and Affiliate. Those cost you zero extra dollars to use, but they are a huge benefit to the channel. They help us out tremendously when you use those. We do get a little bit of a kickback. Um, we also have merch at getoffsetpodcast.com slash shop. Whew, what else do we have to say? Nothing. Just, uh, you know, thanks for watching. Thanks for understanding. Uh, until next time, my name is Emily. Goodbye.